New on GMT, Governor Doug Ducey is making a push for more funding for blind and deaf education. He specifically wants to focus on early intervention for children under three years old. Nine on your side, Alexa Liakos, live at the Arizona School for the Deaf and Blind, and has the governor's plans. Alexa, this is big for the families who need this help. Well, Sam, and then the number of families that need this help has been growing so much over the last few years, 70% increase in just the last seven years, so a big need. Governor Doug Ducey says he wants to hire 21 more teachers for early intervention for deaf and blind children and their families right now across the entire state of Arizona working with state school for the deaf and the blind. There are only 17 teachers covering our entire state. So Governor Doug Ducey says it's just not enough. Now what these teachers would be doing is making in-home visits to children and helping them learn the skills they need to either learn braille or sign language. Right now kids in rural areas are only getting about one visit a week and kids in more urban areas getting about two visits a month and one visit a month for those rural families. Uh, teachers say they would like those visits to be weekly in an ideal situation and uh, the educators here at the Arizona State School for the Deaf and the Blind say not having this early intervention has lifelong consequences. And by the time that they get to kindergarten, if they are so far behind in terms of their fine motor skills or their language acquisition, you can't get those early years back of cognitive development. So you're going to see less academic achievement and after they graduate from school you're going to see less labor participation. Now there is a new bill that will be introduced to the legislature in January to get those 21 new teachers and Governor Doug Ducey says he is hoping that will pass and the educators here at the Arizona State School for the Deaf and the Blind here in Tucson say if it does pass and that funding becomes available they are immediately ready to start hiring more teachers and getting them out to those families in need. Pat and Sam back to you.